Earthquake An earthquake is a sudden, intense shaking of Earth's surface. The shaking is caused by movements in Earth's outermost layer, the crust. First we take a look at the surface of the Earth. As you can see, the Earth's surface is not one smooth layer, but is actually made up of huge slabs called tectonic plates, which roughly fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. There are seven major plates and many minor plates along the surface of the Earth, and they meet at places called, plate boundaries. Although we cannot feel it, these plates are constantly moving very slowly around Earth's surface, but just a few centimeters per year. And also, they interact with each other in lots of different ways. For example, the plate can move apart from each other creating a space called, a divergent boundary. When this happens, magma or the molten rock beneath the surface, erupts along the opening, forming new crust. And plates can also push up against each other, creating what's called, a convergent boundary. In some cases, one plate is pushed up and the other sinks below the surface. Many hills and variety of mountain ranges have been formed, due to the convergent boundary. Finally, tectonic plates can slide past one another creating what we call, a transform boundary. But how do these moving plates cause earthquakes? There is a line where two or more tectonic plates join, and we call that line, a fault. And it's in these areas most earthquakes occur. Some faults are very thin, and too small to be seen. And some are very deep in the Earth's crust. But some faults are really big, you can see them right on the Earth's surface. For example, the San Andreas Fault, which runs roughly 1,200 kilometers through California, North America. Well-studied fault lines include, the San Andreas Fault in North America, and lines between Australia and Papua New Guinea, as well as in New Zealand, Tonga, Japan, and Taiwan. Tectonic plates are made of rough rock, and their edges are rough and jagged. So they cannot slide past each other smoothly. When the edges of the tectonic plates collide, they may stick and cause friction. Friction prevents movement at the rough edges, while the rest of the plate continues to move, causing a build-up in pressure. When the pressure overcomes the friction, the plate moves suddenly and the stored-up energy releases outward, in the form of shock waves, called seismic waves. This energy release is felt as an earthquake. Rocks break and the crust cracks and becomes displaced, causing the earth to shake. Most large earthquakes are followed by additional smaller earthquakes, called aftershocks. The point inside the earth's crust, where the earthquake originates from is known as, the focus, or hypocenter. The earthquake's energy is released in seismic waves, and they spread out from the focus. The point directly above the focus of an earthquake, on the Earth's surface is called, the epicenter, and the seismic waves are most powerful at the epicenter. Earthquakes, until recently have been measured on, the Richter scale. The Richter scale measures, the magnitude, or the strength of an earthquake, and it helps us determine how big an earthquake is. It is measured using a machine called, a seismometer, which produces a seismograph. A seismometer detects seismic waves below the instrument, and records them as a series of zigzags. The bigger the vibration, the bigger the zigzag. A Richter scale is normally numbered 1 to 10. Earthquakes measuring 1 to 2 on the scale happen regularly, and they are so small that we cannot feel them. An earthquake measuring magnitude 5, is 10 times more powerful than an earthquake measuring 4. Earthquakes measuring upwards of 7 are less frequent, but very powerful and can cause a lot of destruction. Today scientists use the moment magnitude scale, which uses the same logarithmic scale, but which more accurately measures the strength of larger earthquakes. The largest earthquake ever recorded was, the Great Chilean Earthquake or the Valdivia Earthquake, in 1960, which had a magnitude of about 9.5. The rupture zone stretched almost 1,000 kilometers along the coast of Chile, and caused a massive tsunami that was able to reach as far as, New Zealand, Japan and the Philippines. Earthquakes can happen anytime or anywhere, and they are one of the most devastating of all natural disasters. 
There are hundreds of earthquakes that occur daily around the world. But we don't feel most of them because the quake is too small, too far below the surface or deep in the sea. However some quakes are so powerful they can be felt thousands of miles away. A powerful earthquake can cause landslides, tsunamis, flooding and many other disastrous events. Violent shaking can cause windows to break, structures to collapse, fire and even entire cities can be leveled. These disastrous events can cause the most deaths and injuries. The majority of Earth's volcanoes and about 90% of earthquakes, including the Great Chilean earthquake in 1960, take place along the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is a path along the Pacific Ocean, characterized by active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. Japan, is greatly known for experiencing large scale of earthquakes in the world, as it sits on a highly active seismic area, the Ring of Fire. Also the world's most earthquake prone countries include, China, Indonesia, Iran, and Turkey. Scientists aren't yet able to predict earthquakes, as events that lead to these disasters happen, deep down in the earth. People living near fault lines can help protect themselves, by living in earthquake protected housing, and practicing earthquake drills.